Good morning and welcome to a new market update in which we are going to discuss what Bitcoin is doing in the price action right now. We've seen a rejection at 44.6k, we've seen altcoins waking up nicely and we have been discussing this topic in a live stream yesterday but we're going to discuss it today as well. Before we're going to continue, do not forget to subscribe and eat, like this YouTube update and definitely do not forget to check out our Twitter and Instagram where you can find daily content on the markets for cryptocurrency and macroeconomics. I'm also doing more on-chain analysis as that is very important to use in your charting and your reflection of your investments. If you want to copy trade me or follow trade ideas or join a beautiful community with educational material, don't forget to check out the website in the description beneath which is 8global.com. So when we're looking at the price action of Bitcoin, we can see a beautiful downtrend still. We've had a beautiful rejection at 44.6K. And from that perspective, we have seen um, the sentiment switch quite fast. The sentiment was ultra bearish when we were at the actual heavy support zone. And when we started to grind back up, the sentiment has flipped towards bearish, but in this towards bullish. But in this case, we can already see that the sentiment is going back to bearish again. So it's important to look at a potential scenario that we are looking at and why we are looking at such a scenario to actually find a bottom ourselves. So let's head towards this chart instead of discussing an intro. I think it's important to actually move towards those and start charting. Let's get towards the charts. So let's discuss the actual price action of Bitcoin in which we can conclude that the trend is still south, right? So just like we have been seeing in the price action previously in April to, um, um, well, June, May, we can see that the price action started to trend south through the creation of a lower low and lower high, which resulted into the downward structure that we are seeing in which we started to bottom out between. 28k to 41 in that case we also see the creation of a bullish divergence here which as a matter of fact could be happening right now too given that the trend is also trending uh south since this 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 fake out that we've got at 69k um, and the lower high that was created which is similar to this one in which this trend started to change from upwards to downwards and bearish rejections took place in which lower highs and lower lows are made. In that case, I've been clearly stating a few crucial levels that I'd be looking at and a few crucial uh, um, resistances and supports, right? And that didn't really change. Although the fact is that we've had a beautiful bounce and we came all the way back towards 44k. And also, if you recall correctly, I've stated that the bottom was in on this day. Well, technically speaking, we are just moving around this low, so it's not really that much changing. Although altcoins might have some pain at this stage still. I don't know why, but I'm quite dark in this update. So apologies for that. We'll be fixing the lights ASAP. Looking at the price action of um, Bitcoin at this point, it shows that we are um, actually seeing the uh, rejection at 44.6. So what are we seeking? Well, we're technically seeking for another test at the low, I assume, as the primary scenario for an actual bottom to take place. So in this case, and I'll just jump over towards the uh, lower time frames on this one. <clears throat> in this case, what we can see is that uh, we've tried to break through the resistance zone and couldn't really do that. So we reject and test the lower levels, as we can see here. After that, we've had a rejection at this previous resistance zone at 43.6, start nuking south. And I clearly stated that if I want to become bullish, if you have been watching my live stream too, I'd want to see 42.4 become reclaimed in order to have strength. However, we didn't, we really failed to do so, um, as we can see with this clear rejection through which the next support is technically this low. And in that case, we are building ourselves a range construction, which is between 40K to 43.6, and that might become a bottoming construction. Right now, Bitcoin is still acting in a very minimal support level, but the conclusion is the same, in which we are seeking for a potential test in this area 
to actually have the bottom being done. And what we can create by then is that we're seeking ourselves for the creation of a bullish divergence too. Because if we're going to test for support, right? If we're going to test for support in this region, and the most likely scenario is a case that we're nuking towards the support bounce back up, it technically says that buyers are stepping in and that there are more buyers than sellers in this zone. So the demand is actually bought up and we can start getting a bullish divergence and see that buyers are not letting the price drop even more, just like we have been seeing in this case. What most likely happens in between is that we're actually taking out the liquidity beneath this region low and from that perspective start reversing in which we can start bouncing and then the crucial resistance zone that we have to break through remains to be 46k as that is still the level that we have to crack in order to have further upwards momentum. So the primary scenario to actually bottom in this case is a nuke towards support as that is the area where buyers are going to confirm that they are actually interested in Bitcoin at this stage. It's also the higher time frame support zone that we should actually uh, be looking at. And the second scenario would be a case that we're going to get a lower time frame bounce based from this level, which is 41.6. That's the current area that we are seeking. Uh, we are bouncing back from that zone and we are looking at a potential flip of this level at 42.4. So we might be bouncing back here, consolidating, and then we can start continuing because this becomes a fake out once again. But as we stated earlier, um, price action, if the price makes fake out on both ways, the next time we test the actual support or resistance, so we'll most likely define the next price action for um, that asset that you're trading, given the fact that we have been seeing a fake out on the upside, downside, and we're testing the downside again, it seems that buyers are, dry, are drying up and that we're seeking for lower levels for support. So the two scenarios are, one is a retest in the green zone around 39 to 40K, in which we're going to get ourselves that divergence and see whether buyers have enough interest in that zone. The second one is a retest at 42.5K, that is a zone where we should be getting into um, a bounce or at least we should be regaining that level and then we can start targeting 46k. I hope you have enjoyed this update. I'll be back later today with another one. Don't forget to subscribe beneath and I'll see you again soon.